Tosana imprinted his name in the history of struggling heroes when in the 1960s he led the biggest march on parliament shortly after the Shabville massacre. He later skipped the country and was based in Tanzania and Ethiopia where he trained as a pilot. He worked for the UN between 1974 and 1996 before returning to South Africa. Today, President Jacob Zuma joined political parties in sending their messages of condolences to remember this stalwart of the liberation struggle. The presidency says Kosana dedicated his life to the liberation of the people of this country. His comrades has fond memories of him during that time in exile and back home. The fact that he saw the terrible conditions that they came, he used to take money out of his own pocket, not UN money, money out of his pocket to sort of try to improve our conditions at the camp. Passing away uh, is a great, great loss because in times like these, when our country seems to be in political turmoil and there is need for direction, I think uh, the Africanists stand the best chance to provide an alternative vision. The PSC said though Hosanna was never recognized for the role he played in the liberation of the country, it has asked the government to give him an official funeral. We have requested the state president to give him the, the state funeral. We are going to discuss with the government, with the family, and see how the, uh, what is the best way of, uh, of, of um, uh, taking him to his last uh, resting place. Hosanna was hailed as a humble freedom fighter who never regarded himself a politician, but a liberator of his people. Montlingani Dipoku, SABC News, Johannesburg.